there's a couple of different ways that you can go about clearing up the precipitate in the water. One, you can run the filter 24 hours a day. The longer it runs and the cleaner the filter, the faster it clears up. The next option is just to run it on its normal cycle. Uh, there's no real need or, or necessity to get it out of its normal rhythm and it'll eventually filter out the particulate over time. The next option is to, if you apply a lot and over apply uh, and it gets really cloudy, you can shut the system off and let the particulate settle to the bottom and then vacuum to waste or to the filter after it's on the ground. So there are a couple of different options in order to filter the cloudiness out of the water. Not necessarily. If your PSI is running five to 10 pounds higher than normal operating pressure, yes, you'll need to clean or backwash the filter before applying the PR-10,000. But since the PR-10,000 is going to cloud the water and actually impact your filter pressure, it's better off just to keep an eye on it after addition and backwash or clean as necessary. The do not add more than eight ounces is per 10,000 gallons of water. So, if you have a 20,000 gallon pool, do not add more than 16 ounces. Um, this is just on there so that you don't dump a whole bottle of the product into the pool and walk away because it will cloud the water and it will impact your filter loading. Yes, chlorine and PR10,000 can be put into the pool around the same time because the chlorine is not gonna have any adverse effect on the phosphate remover's performance in the water. No, you do not need to wait for the PR10,000 to be filtered out. You can apply the chlorine you know, as needed, uh, anywhere between one to, to five parts, and it's not gonna have any adverse effect on the phosphate remover or PR10,000's performance.